Hi everyone, so this is my solar go box. What is it? Well, uh, it has the IC705 with a solar controller and a battery, all in one. Now why would you want to do that? Because you can take this out of the box or from your bag and you can turn it on so that you can turn on the, uh, in this case, the Power Mini, which is a solar controller and you hook up your solar panel so you can charge your battery right here and then you take your antenna and you plug it in and that's all you really need to do because when you open it right your microphone is connected <clears throat> all the connections are ready the battery the solar controller your um, microphone, maybe even headphones. You turn it on, it's already running on battery, so you get 10 watts here, right? And you are now, you know, ready to listen. And that's really done. neat. How about 14? Anything going on on 14? A lot of noise here. And that's because the antenna is a home antenna. It's an infant half wave. But you get the idea. It's ready. And then when you're ready to pack, turn it off. You wind this up a little bit. fits really nicely. Cover it to protect the screen. Close it. Then you unplug the solar panel. Unhook the antenna. Turn it off. And you're ready to go. Everything's compact. Everything's uh, relatively um, put together for you. Now, I have another video that explains how I put it together. And I have other videos too on how I created the holes and how I did some of the connections. This video is more kind of like what I've learned so far in the last two months or so. First of all, I'm using uh, a marine box instead of a ammo box. They're really basically the same. The ammo box is from Harbor Freight. They go on sale. Um, but I decided, I saw this at Marine West. They were also on sale, but they're a little more expensive than this um, kind of like green, gray box. I like the orange color. It's really, it really pops um, really nice. Not as discreet though. If you want to be discreet, this is the case for you. So the plastic is the same. The design's a little different on the top and a little bit inside. Um, so one of the things that I've done differently other than the color are the location of the switch and what it does. This switch here was on this side with the dial. Originally this switch was to turn on the dial and so it would tell me how much um, juice the battery has, how much voltage. It turns out that if the battery is connected to the, um, the power mini, it will drain the battery eventually because the power, the power mini needs power. And so what I decided to do instead was the switch now will turn on the buddy pole. So the switch is the switch is in between the and I have a diagram over here. The um switch, which is this is a switch. The switch is in between the battery and the power mini. So this is one of those switches that toggles and you can see the middle um pin here which is um hot 
goes to the power mini and then the uh, load goes to the battery so uh, it's sort of backwards that was the only way that I can really um, put it together and here you have the black uh, lead that goes to the battery and to the power mini so the moment I switch this the power goes into the switch and then goes to the power mini and then from the power mini I can power the radio and um, the dial and also one cool thing about the power mini is that it has a USB a connection which is over here so this uh, connection here right this is a USB a and it can power your um, your Raspberry Pi but you're gonna need to make sure your battery is being charged with a an appropriate solar panel um, but for an emergency if you need to power your phone you have that capabilities um, the dial I don't know if you heard that beep the beep says the power mini is ready the dial really is so that I can get a kind of a reading of how much power I have on the battery um, if it goes below 12.9 or something then I know the battery has doesn't have too much capacity but it'll hover around 13 12.9 um, and then it has the Anderson power pole next to the switch and the reason is is because I noticed uh, when I go in the car sometimes I want to charge the battery so I'll take my 5 watt panel and put the panel on my moonroof and then plug that in and then I have the switch on the same side so I can put this in a bag and because um, if this switch was on the bottom and I had it in the bag then the switch could turn off and if it was on this side if the switch was here and this was down here it you know it might break or something so I decided to put both of these on the same side which is um, turns out to be a good idea <laughs> um, BNC I'm going to turn this off BNC is um, protruded out I thought maybe that's going to give me a problem and eh, not too much it, it really hasn't I put it in my backpack uh, things go over it very easily um, this is one thing that would be nice if it was flushed maybe in the future I will take the, I'll get rid of this I don't know if this is really taking away any DBs uh, for my radio do I really need something like this no it's just convenient could I just open this up pop in the uh, antenna that way yes but again it's all convenience because everything is ready to go so looking in here um, I do have my microphone sometimes I'll have a um, um, headphones I'll use some Apple headphones and I can connect it to the radio and I'll put them in there other things that I've used in, is this light wand uh, here let me show you let me put this here first so I found this one day um, on the floor and um, the cool thing is it has some batteries in here and when you turn it on it gives you a light like if it was a some type of like fiber optic line I don't know what the name of this thing is if you know that would be great some people call it um, a, a, um, a light wand or an LED wand or something but I couldn't find it on eBay or on Amazon why do I want another one because the batteries are getting rusted it was in the water but this is really neat at night this gives me enough light and I haven't seen it interfere with any of the frequency I'll just put it like this in here and it'll glow and it gives me enough light if I'm doing night operations another thing that I've also put inside my go box is an antenna that's great for um, VHF, UHF, 
uh, for the weather or maybe even if I, in an emergency to contact somebody through VHF, UHF. Um, yes, this is uh, something that, um, you know, is probably compromised, but in a pinch, this will definitely work as a BNC on the bottom. This one is the uh, Diamond Antenna RH789. Really invaluable um, in the field. So that goes also in there. Okay, so um, let me show you what's inside. To take off the radio, I gotta unplug the mic. And then I'm gonna unplug also the BNC on this side. As you can see, the BNC is down there. So this is the convenience. Now, how much dB am I losing in this little piece of wire? Probably not a lot, but the BNC, you know, the quality of the BNC is something I don't know. And here, I like this angle bracket. Um, it's more expensive uh, as a connection, but it does go in there nice and flush when it goes against the wall. Of, um, of the um, marine box. So I can unplug it, and now this is unplugged. And then in here, there's a whole bunch of things going on in here. So this right here, the cool thing about the Biona batteries is that you can plug in um, a wall socket in here and it'll, pl and it'll charge my battery very nicely. So. Um, I just, I might be able to move over the radio and just plug it in if, if I need to. And then what I can do is I have this, it's like balsa wood. It's that wood that you use for airplanes, uh, for crafts. That's a nice stage, um, area. And there it is. Haha. -ha. The, let's turn it on. You might have heard that. The moment I turn this on, the... Uh, buddy pole turns on and the buddy pole has a lot of wiring um, it has a load one and load two load one is for the radio load two is being used for the dial so the dial is connected into the um, Anderson power pole if you haven't seen a buddy a buddy pole power mini these are cool although they're not inexpensive. They're about $150, but they're invaluable. They don't give you any noise in your radio. It goes up to 30 amps of continuous power. Well, not power, right? Of current. Um, so 12 times 30 will easily give you more than 300 watts of capabilities. Uh, and then... Um, it has a lot of information. This is one of the things that I wish I can figure out. I want this display to really be on top here and not use this dial. That would be awesome because all the information I need is here. The only reason why I use this, oh, and that's another thing too, I guess. Uh, in my previous video, I was using a um, power uh, power rack solar controller. I noticed uh, in, while I was testing it that I was getting some noise when I hook up the solar panel. So I decided, well, let me put the power mini in there because I know it works. And it and it's doing very well, though that's m more expensive. Um, the power mini is not, in, you know, inexpensive. <clears throat> you, um, one of the connections of the power mini is that you have the solar and so uh, solar is on this side and then on the other connection here that's where you hook up the battery so battery solar two loads two loads solar and battery all that is um, all the wires are pushed in there i made sure that none of the wires are kinked or putting a lot of stress on any of these connections also, the USB-A cable, unfortunately, I haven't found anything smaller than six feet. So this cable, which is kind of thick, 
has to go back and forth um, so that I can have a USB A connection. USB A is, is invaluable in the field. It, it does give you capabilities to do some other things. Um, so that's kind of it in here. Um, some of these um, panels, you know, they have um, two or three prongs. Some of them have a, like a brass color looking prong. And you have to figure out, you know, which one's negative, which one's positive, and so forth. And that's, and that's one of the, the advantages of creating a solar glow box is that you get to learn how to put these things together. You can buy some of these very similar boxes that you cannot put your uh, IC705, but it's just a box like this that can power your radios. Um, and they're, they're almost the same price as a power mini. But um, putting this thing together, I think, um, gives you a lot of knowledge um, on how to put it together. So that's kind of it that I can think of. Um, power mini, very important. That's a difference. The switch on the right side um, for the solar solar panel. The switch turning on and off the power mini to save some power. The orange case, um, and that's about it. There's probably some more design considerations that I'm thinking about. Um, and also, you know, QRP. QRP is, um, is a challenging um, um, mode. And sometimes it can be very frustrating. Uh, for the last, I don't know, half a year, it, it's, been a, it's a, been a very interesting ride. And recently, uh, I've been going over a roller coaster ride because I've figured out a couple of things of getting more um, decibels for my antenna and thus get just squeeze out maybe a half of S unit. 60 B's give you one S unit. And a lot of the times with these rigs, you're right at the, you're right at the noise level. Um, and sometimes people just can't hear you. It's just what it is, 5 to 10 watts. Okay, I hope that was entertaining, informative. Uh, please consider uh, giving me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And I hope uh, you're well. This is Frank Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar.